the latch, opened the door, and went in. And well pleased was she when she saw the porridge on the table. Now, if she had been a well-brought-up girl, she would have waited till the bears came home, and then perhaps they would have asked her to breakfast, for they were good bears. But she was an impatient, rude little girl, and so she set about helping herself. First, she tasted the porridge of the great big bear, and that was too hot. Next, she tasted the porridge of the middle-sized bear, but that was too cold. And then she went to the porridge of the little wee bear and tasted it. Oh, and it was just right. And she liked it so well that she ate it all, every bit. And then Goldilocks was tired, for she had been catching butterflies instead of running on an errand for her mother. So she sat down in the chair and how of the great big bear, but that was too hard for her. And then she sat down in the chair of the middle-sized bear and that was too soft for her. But when she sat down in the chair of the little wee bear, the bottom of the chair came out and down she came, plump upon the ground. Well, that made her very cross, for she was a bad-tempered little girl. Now, being determined to rest, Goldilocks went upstairs into the bedroom in which the three bears slept. And first she lay down upon the bed of the great big bear, that was too high at the head for her. And next, she laid down upon the bed of the middle-sized bear. And that was too high at the foot for her. And then she lay down upon the bed of the little wee bear. And that bed was just right. So she covered herself up comfortably and lay there till she fell asleep. By this time, the three bears came home for breakfast. Now, careless Goldilocks had left the spoon of the great big bear standing in his porridge. Somebody has eaten my porridge, said the great big bear in his great rough, gruff voice. And then the middle-sized bear looked at his porridge and saw that the spoon was standing in it, too. Oh! Someone has eaten my porridge, said the middle-sized bear in her middle-sized voice. And then the little wee bear looked at his, and there was the spoon in the porridge bowl, but the porridge was all gone. Oh, somebody has been at my porridge and has eaten it all up, said the little wee bear in his little wee voice. Well, upon this, the three bears began to look about them. Now, the careless Goldilocks had not put the hard cushion back when she rose from the chair of the great big bear. Somebody has been sitting in my chair, said the great big bear in his great big rough gruff voice. And the careless Goldilocks had squished down the soft cushion of the middle-sized bear. Somebody has been sitting in my chair, said the middle-sized bear in her middle-sized voice. Somebody has been sitting in my chair and has sat the bottom through it, said the little wee bear in his little wee voice. Then the three bears thought they had better make further search in case it was a burglar. So they went upstairs to their bedroom. Somebody has been lying in my bed, said the great big bear in his great rough, gruff voice. Oh, somebody has been lying in my bear, said the middle-sized bear in her middle-sized voice. But when the little wee bear came to look at his bed, there was Goldilocks' yellow head. 
which was not in its place, for she had no business being there. Somebody has been lying in my bed, and here she is still, said the little wee bear in his little wee voice. Well, when Goldilocks heard the little wee voice of the little wee bear, it awakened her at once. Up she started, and she tumbled out the other side and ran to the window. And now the window was open, so naughty, frightened little Goldilocks jumped. And whether she ran into the woods and was lost there, or found her way out of the woods and got spanked for being a very bad girl. No one can say, but the three bears, they never saw anything more of her. And that's the true end of the true story of the three little bears. Thank you for listening. You were listening well, I could tell. Well, this is the Warehouse Theater Company Bedtime Story. Join us the next time, won't you? Until then, toodaloo.